These new developments come in as the world has hit a gruesome milestone. Five million people around the globe have died from COVID since the start of the pandemic. Millions of families that have now changed forever. And throughout the pandemic, there have been geographic and demographic changes in who is most vulnerable. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner spoke with the Lancaster County Coroner about their experience and what they've noticed as the pandemic continues. New analysis of the first 100,000 COVID deaths compared to the latest 100,000 show a few trends. One of them, the majority of the people dying today are not vaccinated. The Delta variant led to a destructive surge in COVID cases. In just the last three months, more than 100,000 people in the United States died. Because our morgue just simply was not big enough to hold the capacity that was coming in. Carla Dees is the Lancaster County Coroner. She's seen the devastating impacts of COVID up close and personal. It's very mentally taxing. Even more so now, seeing who is dying from COVID. New analysis by NBC News of the latest COVID deaths shows major changes from early on in the pandemic. The people dying now are largely younger, white, rural, and Southern. We did see a lot of differences in it this year comparative to last year. Last year, it was a lot of our elderly population. Um, and this year, we saw our age groups drop down all the way into the 20s and teens. COVID hotspots are no longer in big cities. Delta hit states with lower vaccination rates harder. Doctors and health experts believe today most COVID deaths are preventable. The majority of the death that we have had this year, especially from spring until now, the majority of them have been unvaccinated. And the Lancaster County Coroner says they are not as busy as they were during the summer as cases in the Carolinas continue to go down. Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.